Dental technology is huge these days and it's becoming so popular and so interesting that I've actually put together a web series and a YouTube video review series to check out some of the options. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and today I'm looking at two toothbrushes in the Philips line. This is the Philips Sonicare FlexCare Platinum Brush and we've also got the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean. And we're here in my bathroom, which actually kind of looks a little bit like a disco with the shower curtain. Anyway, we're here in my bathroom to check out some of the options, see what both of these brushes can do, and test them out. The Philips Sonicare Platinum is a smart toothbrush that connects via Bluetooth with your smartphone to track your brushing patterns, coverage, time spent cleaning your teeth, and even how much pressure you're using. It works without the app as a simple electric toothbrush, and it's fully rechargeable too. Inside the box, you'll get the brush handle, additional brushes, the charging base with a stand for the brushes, as well as a travel case. Now, unlike some other brushes, like the Diamond, this case does not double as a charger. The Sonicare Platinum has several cool features. A pressure sensor built into the brush will let you know if you're brushing too hard. It uses both a change in vibration and a slight change in sound to let you know if you're brushing too hard. The brush pacer setting allows you to turn on an indicator which will beep during the brushing cycle so you know when to move on to a different section of your mouth. Now it's less a beep and more a deeper vibration that even kind of feels like a pause, so you will need to get used to it. Some of you might be wondering about costs. The brush up front is going to cost you about $190 Canadian. To get replacement brush heads, a two-pack sells for about $35 or $40 Canadian. So there's not an insignificant amount of cost if you're thinking about investing in one of these brushes. Using the Sonicare app is easy, but there's not really real-time feedback to speak of. While the app will guide you through which areas of your mouth to scrub, it's not actually tracking you or watching you to see what you're doing, similar to what you can get with the Oral-B Genius 8000. Here, it's more like you're getting coaching or following along to a workout video maybe, but there's no one in the room with you to make sure you're not eating Cheetos, if you get my drift. So that's the skinny on the Sonicare Platinum. Now the other brush in the line is the Sonicare Diamond. And there's a few differences between them. For one, the Platinum over here on the left is the smart connected one. It's one you can use with an app. So you do get that added level of Bluetooth connectivity and smart usage. The Diamond Clean over here, it's more just a sleek and sexy can toothbrushes be sexy? Sexy looking uh, electric toothbrush. It's super slim. It's got just basic functions limited to on and off and a couple of other small settings that you can change every time you push on the brush handle. But otherwise, this one is just sort of more of a high tech electric toothbrush. The features on the Diamond Care are a little more limited. There's a couple of different cleaning modes from basic clean to white polishing, gum care, and sensitive. And basically what those settings do is change the vibration patterns and intensity slightly. There's a couple of ways to charge your diamond clean. That glass in the back is actually sitting on an induction charging base. When you take the brush and put it into the glass, it'll give it a charge for you. And of course it also doubles as a drinking or rinsing cup. You can also charge your brush while you're traveling. The case is a charging case. So not only can you transport your brush safely, but you can also recharge it too. Okay, I mostly got rid of distracting disco shower curtains, so hopefully this is better. Overall, what did I think of these two brushes? I thought that for the most part they were easy to use. Um, I really liked having the smart connectivity of the FlexCare Platinum. Um, I think getting that data is really eye-opening. It really shows you that maybe you're not brushing as well or as evenly as you think you were, which is what happened in my case. But if you're the type of person who's not about to sit there and connect your phone to your toothbrush every time you want to clean your teeth, you're going to be better off with the Diamond Clean because that's just simpler, it's got everything you need built into the handle, and it's going to be a little less tedious for you to operate. But either way, depending on which kind of person you are, I can recommend either one of these brushes. I think they're pretty great. The full review is online at techgadgetscanada.com. I've got details on both the brushes there. I hope you'll go there and check it out because it's got a lot more detail than I can provide in a short video review. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit that like button and do consider subscribing because it does help me make more videos that you guys can hopefully watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram at ErinLYYC. Until the next time.